how to find 90% of the feeding inshore fish in your area in less than 10 minutes per week without even having to be on the water. Hi everyone, I'm Joe Simons, Lake Diamonds. And I'm Luke Simons. Lake Diamonds. Luke, this is going to be a fun one. This is the 90-10 training. We did this, man, probably a year and a half ago. This was one of the most popular trainings that we ever did, and we've had a ton of requests for it, so we're going to do it again. And here's what we're going to cover. We're going to do three really cool case studies where we actually get on satellite maps and show you real spots and exactly how this 90-10 applies. So case study number one, where to find endless amounts of speckled trout every trip so you can always put your friends and family on fish. Case study number two, how to quickly find the 90-10 zone year round with some really cool drone evidence. And then case study number three, how to use the 90-10 fishing rule to predict where the redfish will be even in the heat of the day like we have going on right now. And then at the end of that, we're gonna do a really cool bonus showing you some stuff, some kind of predictive analysis, like literally show, showing you where to go fish at any given day, tide, et cetera, that we're doing on the back end. But first, have you ever heard this? The key to catching fish is just more spots. Well, here's the truth. It is completely wrong, isn't it, Luke? Absolutely. That was the number one thing that that I, I had a hard time getting out of my head. It put me back many years. Many years. Because I was only focused on spots, on GPS spots. Hey, I'm going to go fish this area. Where should I fish? What spots should I fish? Yep. And, uh, and that is the wrong premise. And, it, and it's, uh, so if, if only you get that from today's video for catching redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder, all the inshore popular species, if you just, just know that spots are not the answer, you're going to be ahead of the game. Yes. And, and here's why we know that's not true, right? And you should be nodding at this point. Because if it was true, everyone owned these spot maps. And these are ours, by the way. These are the ones that we personally purchased with our own money, every one of these in this picture. And if, if it was true, it was just about spots, then everyone who owned these would always be catching fish. And we know that's not true. So you're probably wondering, all right, well, what, if, if it's not spots, like what, what's the answer? And, and why isn't it spots? Well, here's the answer of why it's not spots. And we'll talk about what it is. It's because GPS spots, just spots on a map, they're stagnant. They're stagnant. They're static. They, they do not move. And Luke, can you guess what does move? I'll give you a little hint. It has a tail and no fences. It can go anywhere it wants. The fish, the fish, fish, that we're fish move. Fish move every single day. They move every tide cycle. We know they move every season, and that's why random dots on a map rarely, if ever, work. And that's also why most anglers, including Luke and I, for many, many years, who just keep going back to those same old boring spots over and over again, end up skunked and frustrated. So you might be wondering, all right, well, what's the answer? Well, here's the truth. To become a consistent angler, it's all about being at the right spot at the right time based on this. And this is the recipe that we're going to go over here using these three case studies. It's trends, it's weather, it's tide, it's biology and science. This is the stuff that not many people are talking about, but this is what it's all about. And so, Luke, let's just talk about what is the 90-10 rule like in a sentence. Yeah, and it's really about putting yourself in the right spot based on conditions, right? So if, if you don't have the conditions part in there, the spot is, is going to be a flip of the coin. But if you, if you factor in the conditions, uh, for instance, those five that we missed, missed uh, that were listed, the trends, right? What are the latest feeding trends? Uh, what's the weather doing? Um, wind is the number one thing that, that I, I just wouldn't really account for, and it is a very big driver on where you should be fishing. So we're gonna cover that a little bit later. Okay. Uh, but it's really the, the, the high level thing to know is just focus on, on the, the right type of spot based on the conditions. If you ever ask somebody, um, you're gonna go on a week, on a trip in two weeks and they tell you a couple spots to go to, if, if they don't know the conditions that you're fishing, it's, it's gonna be a flip of the coin. Yep. And, uh, and, and the, once you get down to the lower level detail, when you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder, the things you need to think about for the 90-10 without, if you, if you don't know the weather and all that stuff, at least, at least start with finding areas that have multiple forms of structure because redfish, sea trout, snook flounder, they're all ambush predators. And so they're going to be using structured ambush prey. And so the cool thing about these online maps, this is just a screenshot from Google. 
Um, so it's a free map. You can access it anywhere, even from your phone. And you can get on the satellite view and you can start seeing exactly where the structure areas are. You can see the, the shallow zones, you can see the deep zones, and then you can also see where there's oyster bars and islands. And so these circle areas, these are the areas that are most likely going to have feeding fish. And, and then as far as so that's going to be like the, the 10%, right? So that's going to be of, the, of that whole map. Those circles are in about 10% of the water. That's where there's, again, there's, there's going to be depth changes. You can see there's islands, there's oysters and seagrass. And then as far as identifying which one of those to do first, that's when you factor in the wind and the weather and the, and the season, all that fun stuff. So that's kind of the, like the high level quick crash course, if you will. Yep. And in terms of a one sentence, what is 90-10? It's that 90% of all the feeding fish are always found in 10% of the water. And the beauty of it is what we're going to teach during this training is that step number one is eliminate the areas that we know are going to be the dead zones. And so many of us, we get out like on a spot like this is a, this is real, this is a ton of water. If you're there in person, we've obviously fished this area. And yet those areas we have circled, that is the 90 10 zone. Those are the areas where all the fish are every time we fish it. Now they change spots based on the conditions that we'll be sharing. But once you can start eliminating all the dead zones, it makes it so much easier to boil down where those feeding fish will be. And I love this quote. This is one of my favorite ones. If you guys haven't read The Scientific Angler, it's one of the top selling books of all time about the science of fishing. And Paul Johnson says, in any given body of water which I have dived, less than 10% of the underwater acreage has held 90% of the game fish population. All too often, the fisherman has absolutely no clue that he has cruised by some of the finest fishing areas he can imagine in his wildest dreams. And here's the great news, guys. Although fish do move, we know they move every day, they are actually quite predictable. Yes, fish are very predictable once you know this 90-10 secret. And so in today's agenda, as I mentioned, we're going to do this, try to be one hour or so, and we're going to do three case studies where we actually dissect actual spots, and then the bonus section where we actually take tides and trends and showing you how to predict where those feeding fish will be, kind of like a, a done for you, making it super, super simple to go out there and maximize your time. And if you stay to the end, this is our little handcuffs if you will if you stay the very end we're actually going to give you our entire 90 10 fish finding system stuff that we've spent it's probably close to a million dollars building like no lie of our own hard-earned money with developers and all that we're going to give it to you completely risk-free before we get into case studies a lot of people do know us if you don't know us kind of what we are salt strong like who luke and i are well we're just two brothers that grew up fishing we we're both born and raised in florida started off very frustrated started off, it, I think the word is just more inconsistent. We were focused on all the wrong things, chasing all the wrong things, meaning we thought we had to have live bait and we thought we had to have all the latest and greatest gear and we thought it was all about the spots. And we realized one day that none of that stuff was important unless you knew this 90-10 system. And then finally, you know, quit our jobs. If you guys don't know the whole, full, whole story, quit our six-figure jobs and ended up creating an online fishing club. And uh, our main goal is just to teach people how to, how to catch more fish, how to save time and save money. And I'm looking here at the stats. It's crazy to believe this, but yeah, 3 million people a year come to our, our website and, uh, and or interact with our private fishing club. And uh, a lot of people know Luke. He was that guy that caught that snook from the third floor balcony in Tampa that went viral and, um, on, uh, on YouTube. And we're proud to say today we do have the fastest growing online fishing club in America called the Salt Strong Insider Club. And, and over those years, we've done a lot of things right. That's Luke actually winning some money in, in tournaments. It's him up on the, on the podium. And isn't that cool? How awesome would that be Did to go from at that time? He was a, just a weekend warrior working in a cubicle and on the weekends competing against full-time guides and actually winning money. People up there clapping for him versus being the guy or gal that comes to the ramp with nothing to show and wondering why everyone else caught more fish than you. And, and on, on the other hand, we did a lot of things wrong. We're, we're like most of us that – you know, once again, we chased a lot of the wrong stuff. And I think one of the biggest ones we thought you, you had to have live bait. And, and because you couldn't find much live bait, right? Remember, Luke, in the wintertime, we just assumed that fish weren't biting and we didn't fish in the winter. And now, like, the wintertime is one of our most favorite times to fish. It's like shooting fish in a barrel, all because of what we're about to show you here in just a little bit. Yeah, and, and sometimes we'd spend an hour catching live bait. And oh, that, that seemed like the best hour of fishing. And now, like, that's, you know, instead of 
waste an hour catching bait, that's that's the primo time catching the, the best fish, just yep. the lures. And, and disclaimer, we're not against live bait. We still use some live bait. The purpose of this is is putting you where the fish are. You can use whatever you heck you want to after that. Yeah, when, we when love you, the fact you, that – Yeah, when you apply – sorry to interrupt. When you, when you apply, it's very important. When you apply the 90-10 properly, the bait or lure you're using doesn't matter nearly that much. Yes. Because when you're putting yourself in the feeding zones consistently – that's what generates results. It's not having the perfect lure, the perfect bait. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just maximize your time in those feeding zones. Yep. And here's a funny picture of me just doing what we did for me. This was us literally taking the, like we wouldn't go fishing without these maps. We thought that this was the answer. No wonder we were incredibly frustrated and consistent. So after doing this now for 20 plus years, we've realized a few things. Number one, it's all about trends. Number two, online maps reveal a lot and they continue to get better every single week, it seems like. I mean, Google, I don't know if you guys know this, but I mean, they have hundreds of employees just in their maps division and they spend billions of dollars. They spend more than like the Pentagon does on all the satellite stuff. I mean, they, they are investing so much money in these maps. Number three, fish are very, very predictable. And this fourth one, this is really the gist of this entire presentation is that 90% of the feeding fish can be found in 10% of any area of any given time. And then finally, this is one that we didn't get until later once we created this community now with 14,000 plus members, the power of having a network of people sharing what's working like real time, uh, real time like what's working now tips and tactics that has been a game changer. So once again, we discovered this the hard way. Great news is for you, you get to cheat and get it the easy way. So case study number one, let's get into this first one, Luke, where to find endless amounts of speckled trout every trip so you can always put your friends and family on fish. I'm gonna let you pull up a satellite map and let's uh, dissect an area here. Yeah, let me get my screen up. Hopefully this works. All right, so you can see the screen. Yes, I see it. Sweet. And so, so this is going to be about, about sea trout. And sea trout, they're generally, they, they don't travel nearly as much as redfish and snook. Um, so, so this is the way, this is usually what we start with, with just getting people uh, comfortable with going out there and just consistently catching fish with or without live bait. And so this one trip just wanted to show you, this is a popular uh, podcast video that we did. And so I just recently moved to St. Petersburg. So I'll zoom out on the map so you can see where we are. So this is St. Petersburg, Florida. This same trend applies there. We have clients all around Florida, all the way along the Gulf to Texas, all the way up the Atlantic up to New York. And the same trend applies. Doesn't matter where you are, a fish is a fish is a fish. The same speckled trout in Florida has the same biological preferences as the ones in Texas as the ones up in the Carolinas. So if you just know how they behave, you'll be able to go out and consistently catch fish regardless of which region you're fishing. That's another important lesson that it took me years to, to finally figure it out. So what we were doing is we, we had to go out and do some filming. Uh, we were on a boat, on a, uh, a boat that was one of those rental boats so it didn't have a trolling motor and we just had to catch fish. We had a videographer there and so trout was gonna be it. I was, we took the easy route. And what we did is we just focused, we, we were going to fish this zone. And again, back to 90-10, right? We can just automatically rule out all this stuff out here because it's just pretty much flat sand. There's no seagrass. There's no depth changes. Usually trout like to be in, you know, anywhere from six feet of water to about a foot and a half of water. And looking at the tides, this day in particular, it was a low tide. And so this is a, a significant advantage. I used to only fish, both of us, we spent years, we would only fish the top of the incoming tide because all we knew to do was to get a ton of live bait and then go to high tide and then put those live bait near the mangroves. And, and we, we caught a decent amount of fish, but it was nothing like we're catching now. So we had an outgoing tide or a low tide. And so just looking at this map, I'll zoom in a little bit. So you can see this huge grass flat. This is an amazing habitat for all sorts of bait fish. A lot of sea trout will live in grass, in big grass flats like this. And when that, that tide really gets low, it was a negative tide. So the tide was ult, ultimately low. All the trout and all the fish that are up here, they have to get off. It's just going to be too shallow. And so it was pretty easy decision to just know that, hey, let's just, let's just check out the edge of this grass flat and, uh, and just see what's there. And so we trolled for a little bit. And then we pulled up to one of these, one of these holes. It might have been this one right here. And anchored up, got some casting there, and we just caught trout after trout after trout. It was, 
it was an incredible buy. Here's some of the footage. And as you can see here, we're just, we're in a bay boat. So no, like no fancy boat. It wasn't like an, a, a super, super skiff of any kind. You can see our anchor pin. We didn't have a power pole or anything. Yeah, we didn't have anything fancy. We just had one of those stick anchors. And there's Joe with a, one of the first trout. And I just, uh, about to make a cast and I'll just kind of fast forward. But it was literally, so I had 10 casts in a row. I caught nine fish. And the one that I didn't catch a, a trout, uh, it got off halfway, halfway there. So it was just one of those days that it was actually a tough day when it's super calm and clear. It's hard. So there's one of the trout. And they'll zoom in so you can see what we're doing. So we, were just, we weren't using a fancy lure either. This is just one of our slam shadies. And, uh, and this one in particular, you can see the tail had, uh, had been bitten off by a, a trout or something before, and maybe a puffer. And I just kept throwing the tailless one, and it still kept catching fish. And again, we just sat here and just caught fish after fish after fish. And uh, so there's, yeah, I'm already hooked up again on the second cast. And just, that's just the power of, of once you find the fish. I think a lot of people, myself included for many years, I would just focus on, hey, do I have the right color lure? Do I have the, you know, all the, 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 best, the best reel, right? I used to spend, you know, $200, $300 for a reel. Uh, now I never do. And, uh, and I would spend more on the reel than the rod. Now it's the opposite. But I just focus so much more on the equipment in reality even on the 90-10, right? 90% 90 of the success is just putting yourself in the right spot at the right time. If you do that properly, if you know your species, which we teach in our courses, we're going we're to cover in, in a pretty good amount of detail here. If you know your species and how they behave and then how the, the science of water and their biological makeup, how they combine, and, and you're going you're gonna to totally skyrocket your fish catching success. Yep. Let's go back to the map real quick and, and, and share a few really critical tips. So one, just to reiterate, 90-10, right? We were able to eliminate a lot of that area out there. So let's just say what you're looking at, this screen right here, we know that all that deep stuff and the channels are not going to hold the trout and it's just not a, a good place to fish. You got boats going through there. We also knew that we had low tides, so they're not going to be up super shallow, right? I mean, you're normally not going to find those big schools of trout. If you just want to get your friends and family on a ton, you're not going to find them. So they were just pushing out deeper and deeper closer to that channel. And Luke, when you zoom in there, keep zooming in. And anytime you see... Anytime you see irregular areas, like show that one little pothole, and, and you're not going to have to see that exact same kind of size, but anytime you see anything irregular like that, you should try to find that and fish as close as possible to it. Every time we've done it, we have found a ton of fish. Yeah, so, so again, right type of spot based on conditions. We knew the tide was going to be low. The recent feeding trends was that the trout have been holding around the grass. And so we automatically knew, right, if, we, if I could, I don't have a, one of those drawing things, but basically the feeding zone is this little oval right here, and then this little oval up here, right, just the edges of the flats. We can automatically rule all this out. I'm not even going to waste our time doing it. We're not going to waste our time trying to fish right in the, right in the channel where there's, no, there's really not any, any good structure on the bottom, and odds are a bunch of sea dudes are going to go. We're not going to fish the bridges. I mean, we yeah. just keep eliminating all these areas until you find it. Like, all right. And, and talk about the next week, Luke, one of our members, uh, John Walker, one of our insider members, he had put a post in our private community saying, hey, I hadn't fished in like a couple of months. I'm taking my wife out. She normally like kind of gets bored with fishing because we're fishing and not catching. I just want to put on a ton of fish. And he, ha he, lives, he lives in Winter Haven, Florida. And he's like, I'll go wherever I need to. And so we're like, man, here's where you want to go. And where did he fish? It was uh, right south of there, right? Yeah, so he was on the south side. So on our situation, we had the start of the incoming tide. So you can follow the flow. Again, a, a trout in particular, especially in the warmer months, they, they really like moving water. The, the, the more current, the better, as long as it's not just rapids. <laughs> uh, but the more current, the better. So the current on the, on the incoming tide is going really nice against this shoreline. Um, however, he was fishing the outgoing current. And you can see, just look at, look at how this water is coming through this cut. It's now most of the water is getting forced down on the south side of the channel. And so that's where he fished. Again, it, w it, wasn't, it wasn't that, hey, uh, you have to fish right here because that's where the fish were two weeks ago. No, the conditions have changed. So the, the, the GPS spot is no longer the best spot. Yep. It's the type of spot. This, the type of spot based on the conditions has not changed. The only thing that changed was just the, the direction of the current flow. And that's really not that big of a deal. All you have to do is just find a similar type of spot based on the known conditions and 
it is shocking how consistent this is. I think a biggest misconception is that people um, are trying to like outsmart the fish. And I think they give the fish way too much credit for being smart. They're not smart. Their, their brains are tiny. All they're doing is they're reacting to the environment. The environment's changing. The water currents ebbing and flowing. It's getting hotter and, and colder. Um, and all they're doing is reacting. And so as long as you know how they react, you're going to be, you're going to put yourself in the right spot at the right time. So yeah, all he did there real quick, Luke on that map and FYI, John and his wife, Susan had one of their best days ever. Like she caught more fish using an artificial lure right here in this little air Luke's about to show than right any point ever before. Yeah. They fished right in this cut and we saw, we were actually filming that same day and, uh, and we went and, and saw them. We, I knew his boat and I saw him. I was like, I think that's him out there. And, I uh, went and talked with them. Yeah, they caught uh, they caught molt, a lot of snook, or sorry, a lot of trout. They caught a uh, snook up along one of these shorelines. They caught some flounder, which is cool, as well as Spanish mackerel. Again, all from just, it was a bit, they have a 20, I think it's a 24, 25 foot bay boat. So a bigger boat, you don't have to have crazy shallow draft, um, as long as you just, again, as long as you just plan accordingly. And uh, again, this was just the power. Like uh, Days like that, you remember Joe, when we first started trout fishing, like we would catch two or three and be like high-fiving just super pumped and it would take us all day <laughs> and uh, just because we just didn't know like we just didn't really think about how like what the fish are feeling and and how they're reacting to the changing currents and, and changing temperatures we would just go to a spot that we heard was good and uh and like hope for the best and now we were we were getting mad in, in this scenario and many scenarios just like this when we're not catching them every cast, like not at least getting a strike, right? I mean, that, that day on that on the Freedom Boat Club boat with no trolling motor, no power pole, I mean, I know we caught well over, like landed over 50 uh, in a really short amount of time. Like it was a quick little lunch break. It was absolutely nuts. Yeah, so that's just the, yeah, just the, that's just the power of, of the type of spot based on the, the conditions. And as we said before, if, if you're not factoring the conditions in, to your your spot selection you're 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 just asking for for un inconsistent results yep it's and it's cool are you guys you guys all getting this and are you ready to move on to case study number two let's do it all right case study number two how to quickly find the 90 10 zone year round with amazing drone evidence lukey do you got that drone footage ready Yes, I'll pop this up, and this is eye-opening. Let's uh, let's check this out. And so, can you see it now, Joe? I see it. I see uh, a bunch of big fish. To see some little, uh, even though they're not probably not that small, they just look small compared to those monsters. Yeah. So what we were out, we were out fishing. We had a drone with us, and we wanted to just just take an aerial view, just to to see if if the drone would pick up some fish. This was like one of our first times taking the taking the drone out. And, and just looking at the footage, it was eye-opening on, on the true visual look at this 90-10. And so we can, we can start the low level. And you'll, see, you'll see the high level is just the same. So looking at this low level, you can see these fish. These are really big snook. Like this drone is probably, I don't know, 1,500 feet up. Um, these are really big snook, well over slot. Some of them have, have started to push off the grass. Those snook were, uh, were aware that the, there was something strange flying in the air over their heads. <laughs> they started bailing out. And so then here's some smaller fish. And then you can see, start seeing more and more as you kind of look closely at the edges of the grass. Isn't that cool? Like there, if you look at every one of those little pockets, it seems to be there's at least one fish holding in every one of those little dimples, if you will. Yeah, fish, again, little, little pocket. And what those are, so this is seagrass. All the, all the, the green is seagrass. And these potholes, this, the white is sand. And, and almost always the sand is going to be a little bit deeper. Obviously, you don't have the grass, but there's usually an uh, indentation. And those, those predator fish will, will oftentimes, especially in the lower tides, they'll hold down in those potholes. And they'll, they'll sit there and just wait for... Uh, a mullet or a shrimp or just some sort of, of food to uh, just to be kind of meandering over the grass and then they'll be they'll be under the grass right and as soon as it gets a little bit too close they're gonna come up and grab it um, and so just at the 90 10 let's just look at this window so if we were fishing this area if we wanted to just isolate where all the fish are they're pretty much always on right on the edge of the grass just these couple of big snooker in the middle. Again, we spooked them. I think they were holding down here before we we uh, we messed them up. And so in this one zone, right, just the edges of the pothole is really where 
the, the most strikes are going to happen. So if you're throwing a lure or a live bait, what you want to do is you just want to maximize your coverage of the zone because that's what counts. That's what matters most. Yep. If you make a cast out here, you're wasting your time. Right? Let's take it up, pull that drone footage up. Yeah, so you can see how these yeah, those big snook are taking off. Yeah, they knew something was going on, so that we're about to go up. Yeah, look at those snook. There's like, there's like five fish just huddled right there together. So cool. Check that out. There's some trout over there. Because we, we actually fished this area, obviously, uh, and caught trout and, uh, and reds. The, the snook were already a little bit too spooked. But this is where it gets real serious, guys. Like, you want to see 90-10 and see proof. I mean, you already saw what's in that little hole. Imagine, minus the trees, that everything else in screen is 100%. I mean, that one little pothole, and there's one other area where there's a few more fish, it constitutes uh, 100%, obviously, and this is the, the 10%. And 90% of the fish, we, we, can, we know they're there. We can see them on a drone. It's spooky how accurate this is time and time again. And, and all this math of 90-10 has is, is, is hurt my head, Joe, but this also just it shows the trends, right? So once, once you obviously isolate the, 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 the hot spots, right, the 10% the, the of the water that holds 90% of the fish, once you find it, the the value is is immense because once you find that trend odds are is that it's going to apply as you go forward as you go forward down the bank or even as you go forward to another spot for the, or even, for the rest of that day is what you're saying right oh, but in, in many cases longer and in many cases the same trend that's happening here and this is a section both grand the same exact thing was happening up in Tampa, and the same exact thing was, was happening over in, uh, over in Melbourne, over in Indian River. What about Corpus Christi, Texas, Luke? Probably there, too. <laughs> Again, because these fish, in most cases, the same, um, the same weather you know, is just pushing through the southeast. It'll, oftentimes, it'll be a day or two apart. But these, the, again, all these fish are doing, they're reacting to the changing weather. Yes. You know how they react, and then also, also the, the currents you're going to be able to put yourself in the right spot. So looking at this area, right, just, we, we found the trend, right? They're in the potholes that are up close to the shoreline and uh, at this tide cycle. And then we, sure enough, go up. You're not seeing much. This is, you can see a snook here, but that was one that we spooked out. And we go up and we finally get up to this zone and check this out. If you look closely, big snook, big snook. Another fish, can't tell what it is. Another fish, again, right in the same type of spot. We go up. First time we hit another, another deep spot with sand, that's where the fish are. So knowing that, all we have to do is go, there's about 10 spots like this up and down the shoreline. So if we really want to maximize our time, we just fish this one hard, go fast, slow down, fish this one hard, and just do that. And that's what we did. And we caught a good amount of fish that day. Yep. And, and a big part of this too is once you know where that 90-10 is, is the boat positioning too, right? I mean, some people are going to go cruise right up there near the mangroves and cast up there and they're right on top of the fish and don't even know it. Yeah. So you can see there's a, yeah, there's a lot of fish. You can see that there's like three of them, right? Four of them right there. Yep. And then I'll just kind of go through, I'll, I'll just play it so you can see it without being a, a jittery. But, but as, as it, it pans up further, there's no more, there's no more of those big sand holes. And not surprisingly, there's not many more fish. So it just, just goes down the importance of, of just knowing what to look for. Originally, I thought this was a fish right there, but I don't think it is. Um, even if it was, that was just one fish in a really long uh, span. When in reality, all those fish were just hunkered down right in that, right in that one zone. It was, it was just really cool to see this, this bird's eye view footage of, uh, of, of what actually is happening, of exactly how these fish are positioned. How cool is this, guys? I mean, and we've done this multiple times in different areas that we've fished, and this thing keeps holding true over and over and over again. We've shared with our insiders a lot more footage just like this of different places, and that 90-10, from a bird's eye view, it continues to keep holding true. Isn't that cool? All right, so are you guys ready to do case study number three? Let's get into it. All right, case study number three, how to use the 90-10 fishing rule to predict where the redfish will be even in the heat of the day. Luke, tell me you got a satellite map for us. You know this. Yes. Yeah, and, and so and th what we're going to talk about is just how to apply it with the different species. And so in this case, this is going to be the spot. And, and so in this case, this, was, um, this is over in Clearwater and a little bit north there. Can you see it, Joe? Can you see it all right? Thumbs up? Oh, yeah. And so I'd, I'd never fished over here before, and I had uh, just a morning open. 
and um, and I actually ended up taking my dog out there just to get him out and uh, get some exercise. And I didn't really have much, um, you know, didn't really know what to expect. And so I just got on the maps. And again, I was looking for the right type of spot to fish based on the conditions. So I knew this was this was in the warm, in the warm period. I knew there's going to be an incoming tide. Um, I know that redfish have have recently been holding closer to the passes and inlets because that was just what I was seeing at, uh, throughout other travels around the state and from just interacting with uh, with members really across the whole southeast. And so I just took that into account. And the the wind was was pretty calm, so the wind wasn't really a factor in this this day in particular. And so what I knew is that I knew the redfish would be pretty close to the passes and inlets. And I, I saw this saw this pass. This is the Gulf of Mexico. I found a boat ramp right here. And so I just started looking, okay, from around the boat ramp, let me just try to find a couple spots. In general, when I go, to, even when I fish spots that I fish all the time, but always when I fish some new area, I'll just, I'll spend five, 10 minutes on the online map and I'll pick out around five spots to go to. Again, based on the tides, the weather and all that fun stuff. So this day in particular, I really only had to worry about the, the current. And so the incoming current, I just followed the current. I wanted to find a spot that had structure because we know redfish are structure oriented. They, they love being around oysters, seagrass, around shorelines, docks. And so I wanted to find some structure that also had a good amount of current hitting it. And so I followed the flow. Flow of water is coming in here. It's basically bouncing off this shoreline and then going, going north and then part of it's going south. Um, so I just looked over here and I was like, hey, wow, this looks pretty cool. All right, you scroll down. Again, this is free Google map. This is accessible by anybody. You can do it even on your phone. And to start looking on here, you can see that there's big, big areas of grass. We have some grass flats and the grass has some areas with potholes. We have a dock out here. And in general with, with ambush predators, and this goes for redfish, just as much as it does snook and sea trout and flounder, the more types of structure you have, the better. So say maximize your structure and maximize your success is what we, uh, what we teach in, in our courses. And so right here, we have multiple depth changes, we have seagrass, we have docks, and there's even some oysters. If you look closely, you can uh, see that this is a big oyster, oyster patch. And uh, it, again, even if it wasn't oysters, you don't have to be perfect about identifying. Over time, you'll be able to see that this is oysters and not grass. But even if it wasn't, this is still a good spot to go to. And so this was spot number one. I was okay, perfect. I, this was my first choice. It was super easy to get to. It, there's no obstacles. I just had to run about uh, 500 yards and then idle over and I'm at the spot. And it, what happened is I ended up catching a slam in under an hour and a half. Um, so I caught a trout in the first couple casts. And then we talk about the redfish, right? Usually redfish are pushing up shallow. And, and uh, the trends, again, during this time, the redfish were, were holding up in the real shallow water chasing mullet. And so let me shoot over to the actual footage. And so this is that trip, and this all this is online. It's on one of our one of our fun videos, because um, Otis was our dog Otis was out of control that day. <laughs> fell in the water three times, and, but once I, I caught the trout, and then I wanted to go uh, I wanted to go find some reds, and so I just went up shallower. And so the first one was right up there. I could see him. I could see him moving, and these ones I unfortunately catch. I end up spooking them, and but just shortly after, I just went another fifty yards. And there is when I finally hooked into one. Let um, me go up there, you can see it. There's Otis, he's just about to fall in for the second time. You can see he's already wet. Mm -hmm. And there he goes in the water. Isn't that fun? That's funny. But yeah, so again, I'm just going to a new area that I've never been to before. I only had one lure. I was throwing a, a, a jerk bait, salt plastic jerk bait on, the, on a weighted hook. I had a crazy dog with me and ended up having a great time. And so just to so show, right, so that's a cool looking red, nice, uh, three spotter or four spotter. And yeah, so there's a stinking dog it's driving me crazy that day. It just shows that you don't have to have like everything perfect, right? Like the, the worst thing possible is to have a, a energetic 90 pound dog on your boat. And it, as long as you pick a good, a good 90, 10, you're going to still have some luck. And so here's a giant redfish that I saw. I'll, I'll fast forward that. I'm still bummed about that one. Otis, uh, Otis barked right at the wrong time. I caught, I caught multiple grouper. And yeah, there's that big red taking off. So that red was in real shallow water. It was just, again, it was following the exact trends and it would not hit my bait. Still bummed about that. But just a little bit later, hooked into a big, a big fish. And Otis got out again, chasing it. 
and ended up being a really nice snook. Let's fast forward so you can see. So, so this same 9010 can really, in most situations, can apply to, sorry for the shaky video, when you see this, this, this bad boy, the 9010 can apply to both, you know, sea trout, redfish, even snook, and flounders. There's a solid snook there. Again, on that same lure. Um, so again, so just really about just, just taking some time to understand the fish's behavior, understand why fish are moving, and then, and then just putting yourself in the right place at the right time. It's really is what it comes down to. And Luke, pull up, pull up that map real quick. And guys, if you're, if you're an insider member, you already know this. If you're not an insider member, every week, there, we have multiple fishing coaches like Luke. Every week, we're all going out to new places, exploring just like this. And we show our members everything, not just where we launched and where we caught fish, but everything. I mean, even the boat positioning or kayak positioning. Some of our members just... Uh, only fish kayaks. We have a kayak guy. And every week we're doing this. So we have this library now, of four years of doing this, of, of trips just like this, where we show everything. I don't want you to go into the, in the club yet, Luke. Uh, let's go to the, to the actual. Um, you ready. You're saving that one for later. It's a sat satellite map. So let's, let's kind of die. You guys saw the footage. You saw where he caught fish. Let's zoom out a little bit. And, and really just kind of summarize why you picked that, like why that was the 10% the zone, why you eliminated everything else. Uh, and I, I believe it's because in this case, it was summer and wintertime. You probably would not have picked that spot. And you had that tide coming and hitting that area, which is why you looked at that first. Exactly, right. So we're talking about, you know, the 90-10 part of it is focusing on where the fish are going to be. And, and another part is just totally exiting out where you know fish are most likely not going to be. Yep. And so I wanted to catch a slam. And I, my, my favorite thing to do is just go out and catch at least one of, of all three species, redfish, sea trout, snook, and then a bonus flounder. Um, and so I know they're not going to be, so we'll just immediately knock out right here in the middle of the bay. Because some trout might be out here, but redfish and snook will not be there. The best way to catch a slam is to focus on areas that could likely hold all three fish. That way, again, just like this day, you can go out and catch all three really fast. And, and so take, I, out, take out the measuring stick there. Show people how – I think that's one of the cool things, um, you know, another new feature that Google added. So you can see, maybe not from where you launched, but maybe in that area where you caught a slam, like it all happened right. within, what, a couple hundred feet or something? Yeah, so, yeah, if you find a good spot, you can catch all fish. So if you – on Google, a being is different. All these – all the different maps have the same features in most cases, but this measure distance, you right-click, uh, right measure distance – it starts there, and then so I caught the trout there, and I caught the snook, I believe, right there. So it was uh, 1,217 feet. So that's, what, a mile is 5,200 feet? So that's, like, not even a quarter mile. I was told there's going to be no math here today on this presentation. <laughs> yeah. So long as we're short, it, it's, you know, if you find a good spot, you can, the cool thing is you can just find these spots on the maps. As long as you know how the fish behavior and then what the tide's doing and what the weather's doing, which again, you can get all that for free online as well. You can do everything. As far as the overall trip, right, super easy. I had to go over here to get the bridge and then I just curved straight down there and I fished down to about there. So that's just over a mile of distance cover. I, I use like no gas and I had, a, I had an excellent day. I caught, I caught a slam and I caught like probably five or six grouper and a jack or two and just had a good time. And you can easily, now that you know that too, because it can be intimidating when you get out there and, oh man, this is a whole lot further than I thought. I mean, 1.2 miles there and back, you can do that in a kayak paddleboard. Uh, that's what's so cool about, about all this. Yeah. And if you're a kayaker too, or, or even fishing from shore, do these maps, I'll just go real quick because this is just cool. These maps are amazing um, because you can actually pull the little guy and get the street view on like exactly what's going on. If you want to see if there's parking or whatever available, you can see exactly what's happening. So now I can say, okay, cool. I know I can park right in here. And then you can zoom back out. It looks like an ice cream truck in there. That's it does. Yeah, you can probably get a treat. And so you know, now you can see, okay, I park right here and I just pull my kayak in right there and you can fish this island. Anyhow, this, if you don't know how to use these maps yet, it's, these are incredibly powerful. And obviously as part of the club, we have a total a entire set of lessons dedicated to map reading. It covers everyone. Every map is, has their own pros and cons. And it covers all that. We might even give them to you today for free. You never know. All right. You guys, the cool guys. All right. Are you ready to get into the bonus section? Let's do it. All right. This is the 90-10 fishing rule bonus section. 
And everything we're about to show you is what we've built for our Insider members. And the whole goal and the reason we created this club is because we know people are busy. I assume you're busy. I believe time is the number one issue we're all facing with our lives, regardless if you have kids or grandkids or no kids. I assume if you're watching this, you probably have some type of job or occupation. It takes up a ton of our time with all the distractions and all the stuff going around. It is tougher and tougher to find time to know exactly where we should be fishing. So Luke and I wake up every morning along with our 10 employees now, and our whole job is to create things for our members that help them save time. And this is one of the coolest ones is a smart fishing game plan. It's 10 minutes or less. And as our friend Dylan Hubbard says, if you're too busy to go fishing, then you're just too busy. I take it a step further. If you're too busy not to study for 10 minutes before you go fishing, then you're just too busy. So every week in 10 minutes or less, we get on these satellite maps with our members and we start really at Texas anywhere there's inshore saltwater fish like redfish and speckled trout and flounder and snook, et cetera, and go all the way up even past North Carolina, Virginia area and show you exactly where you should be fishing. Guess what? Based on trends, based on science, based on what's working right now, based on what the network has told us, and this is game changing. So many of our members, we do it every Friday afternoon, they'll listen to this on their way to go fishing they'll, or, and they'll watch it. It's all video based and actually get on a map and hone in and say, here's the types of areas, not the GPS spot, but the types of areas that you should be fishing this weekend. If you want to catch inshore slams, it is crazy, crazy valuable. Yeah. It's all about, as again, it's all about just putting yourself in the right spot at the right time. We, every week we talk about the behavior patterns of the fish, you know, how they're reacting to the weather that's coming through so that you can just make sure that you're, you're maximizing your time out on the water. Yep. And then part number two are the fishing reports. Everyone loves fishing reports. The bad news about a lot of the public fishing reports is they don't really share that much. But what we found with our private community, if you guys can see this map right here, every single one of those little pins is a fishing report. I mean, we're talking about 12, 13,000, and they're mostly all targeted towards inshore species. You'll still usually some in the middle of states, and those are, we got, do have some people do freshwater fishing on the side, like even, even myself. But I mean, this is incredible incredibly valuable intel. Luke and I take advantages. Our fishing coaches take advantage. We're going to a new area. Guess what? We go to the region first and we see what people are catching, what kind of depth they're catching and people are sharing everything. It is so cool to have a community like ours that is actually willing to share so much. Luke, do you want to pull it up uh, real quick, the actual map so uh, they can see what that looks like? Yeah, I'll just show you how just user-friendly it is to use. And, uh, and so every one of these pens is a report. And so we'll just kind of go down here just because I'm over in the – look at Tampa Bay. I'll hide the, hide the filter. And, and so the cool thing is that all of this uh, – every report has the details behind it as far as what the tide was doing, the water clarity, the, the season, the month, and the species caught. And so you can easily filter – this data down to just see exactly where the different species were caught per month. It's, it's invaluable. And then um, if you go to the filter, you can, you know, do it by, by region and even dates. So if you want to get down to the trends of what's working right now, like this month, or to even see what happened around this time last year, it is so cool uh, what you can see in this. Yeah. And even over in Texas, we have a lot of members over in Texas. And uh, again, just, just, just populating a lot of just really helpful reports. And the cool thing about this, it's not just a, oh, here's what I caught. You know, most members are actually showing some tips because it's all about anglers helping anglers. Yep. Um, the network effect is, is the one thing we mentioned before. In my opinion, that's the, that's the most valuable part uh, about growing as an angler. It's just networking, network, working with like-minded anglers. And, and this is by far the, the biggest and most comprehensive network of, of anglers for inshore fishing. And so that's why like, I, I feel like my results have skyrocketed once we – once we started that and, and set this up. Yeah, it's definitely one of the cornerstone pieces of our entire club and community is this network effect and learning from all these different points. And as we talked about just a second ago, this game plan, that's where our coaches, our fishing coaches, like if you want to get good at golf, you, you hire a coach. We have fishing coaches that are available to you anytime that you want them all in this interactive community. And a lot of these game plans are taken from what's working right now based on the fishing reports. And then of course we have smart fishing tides, another tool that we've developed a lot of our own money and time to help you predict what day 
and the time of day that you should go fishing. So I don't want to spend too much time on that, but know that every single day it gives you a score between one and 10. And if it's a nine or higher, it actually says to take the day off work, call in sick. Like that means you need to be going fishing. And it's based not just on, you know, a couple little things. Like we've taken this whole algorithm that no one else has done that includes everything from the weather and the wind and all of these trends that we talked about of course, moon phase and barometric pressure and tides to predict what days are going to be best. And then we break it down by hour as well. People absolutely love this smart fishing tide feature. Yeah, it's like it's like a salooner table on steroids because it covers all that stuff. Plus, unlike the salooner tables, it, it encompasses the weather, the wind speed, the wind direction, the pressure changes, the stuff that, that makes a significant difference that all other, at least all other platforms that I've seen do not have. Yep, and you get it right in your phone and boom, you look at it real quick and it takes all the guesswork out. It's like, hey, I got a score and it tells you what hours should be best for you to catch inshore slams. And the other thing, spot dissection videos. If you like what we did in these case studies, we are doing these every single week, all year long. And now we have a whole library of dissection videos on every major city from Texas up to Virginia, like literally getting all maps and saying, here's how you want to fish this area based on everything we've been discussing. The spot dissection videos are priceless. And then this strike spots. This is the latest and greatest thing that we're building right now and, in, and still in beta test mode. Depending on when you watch this, it might be live. And this is for all this stuff is for insiders only. So these strike spots, remember that map we showed you earlier, we're now using artificial intelligence to see what's going on, where all the fish are being caught, and even what lures are being caught on. And of course, based on the wind and the tides and all that, we're actually now, if you, let's just say you're going fishing this weekend and let's just say it's Tampa Bay or Fort DeSoto, where I guess that's St. Pete area. And you would put that area in it and it actually show you on a map, here are the areas that you want to focus on. It's taking the 100% and dialing it down to 10, right? I and mean, if you look at this map, all those red spots there, that's the 10% zone where the feeding fish should be during that coming weekend. How awesome is that? And then, of course, this is another screenshot of it. We can't show you everything because this is for insider members only, but it will even show you the, the most common species and, of course, the common lures that are being used during that time. And we're gonna take that to a whole nother level and talk about retrieval and depth and all that and positioning. Because I think that's another piece that is, is forgotten so many times, right? And there's nothing worse than getting in that right spot, like finding that 10% zone where 90% of the fish are, and then blowing out the spot because you positioned the wrong way, you came in there too fast, and you completely spooked every fish. There's nothing worse. Yeah, it's all encompassing. I mean, the whole platform is, is, is exactly what we wish we had when we had to learn it the hard way. You know, it took us 15 plus years of, of you know, back in like high school when we could fish all day long. Um, it, it took us a, just a ton of time and, and it, something like this would have just totally shortened the learning curve. It would have been a total game changer. Yes. And, and it is for many anglers across the, across the country. And so, yeah, if you haven't yet tried it out, I, I recommend giving it a shot. Yep. So that's really the big question, guys, is can we give you proven fishing trends and actually show you exactly where to fish every single week based on this 90-10 rule all year long, completely risk-free? Now, I hope you agree this past hour has been well spent, that you've learned some stuff it has been good. The bad news is we're talking about a massive region, Texas up to New Jersey. There's no way we can cover everything you need to know in an hour webinar, probably even if we had all day. And so we want to give you, because you made it this far, as I mentioned at the very beginning, a really, really special offer. So you can get everything you need to find that 90-10 zone every single trip. And if you act fast, we are going to give you a very, very special deal. So are you ready to start out fishing all of your friends and having tight lines every trip, which is really what it's all about? So Luke and I would love for you to join us in our private Salt Strong Insider Club. You've heard us talk about it. I want you to see the main three things that we saw for, which is saving money. So we have really amazing discounts on all the most popular rods, reels, line tackle, terminal tackle you can imagine. And of course we save you time as we've been showing. And finally is that network effect, meeting friends. So I'm gonna show you exactly what we wanna give you today.
So number one is the 9010 Smart Fishing Spot System and all the interactive training with our coaches. We say it's a thousand dollar value. You know it's a whole lot more. You know how much it costs to even get a guide for one day. This is something that you will have 365 days a year and it is constantly being updated pretty much every 15 minutes there's new stuff going up inside of this community. So a thousand dollars is a really, really conservative number. Then what's working now, fishing tips, the unbiased reviews and comparisons and all kinds of shortcuts that we're doing every single week for our members, $197 value. If you've seen our stuff on YouTube, which is great, that's like a fraction of the stuff we publish. Most of our best tips are all off of YouTube only for our insider members. So if you like our YouTube stuff, you'll be blown away with what we're giving our, our members. I mentioned those spot dissection videos. Every week we go pick a new spot and, and we, we do it based on our new members saying, hey, here's where I fish. Can you guys dissect that area? And we have an entire library of those videos, $197 value. And then as I mentioned, 20% discount on top fishing tackle. We pick $200 value. It's kind of conservative based on what the average angler spends on tackle, but I'm talking all the big rod and reel manufacturers. I mean, all the stuff you, if you guys can still see behind me, all those rods and reels, Dio, a Shimano pen, all that stuff I use personally with this 20% off and sometimes even higher if we have special deals on stuff. It is amazing how much you can save for you and your family on the tackle you're already buying. So that's a total value, $1,594. Now, the big question we always get at this point is, will this work for me? Hey, guy, Joe, Luke, I like you guys. This sounds awesome. Will this work for me? Well, here's who it's worked for so far, right, Luke? We got Weekend Warriors, which is probably the biggest chunk of our, of our members from Texas all the way up to really Virginia, really inshore saltwater anglers. And we got nearshore anglers as well, but that's the, the big bulk. We have full-time guides. About 8 to 10% of our members are actually full-time guides, and they know the value of that network effect, and they like saving money on the, on the tackle discounts, but they know that value of the network effect, and they're learning stuff constantly. Of course, we have a lot of newbies and beginners that just really want to skyrocket their game. And we have boaters, we have kayakers, we have paddleboard anglers. We have actually people in every single state and I think five different countries now. And a lot of them are just people that love learning. And also we found there's a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, people in Michigan and Ohio that have second homes or even just come down here for a couple months a year and they just want to maximize their time, not have to learn stuff the hard way. That's been a really big chunk of our members as well. Inshore saltwater, this is a complete no-brainer. As I mentioned, offshore, we have Captain Dylan Hubbard. We've done stuff with Peter Miller. So we have different coaches that do teach some of the nearshore and offshore stuff. But really, if you're an inshore saltwater, it's a complete no-brainer. But we even have people that are using these same kind of tactics for the freshwater side. And here's just a couple of our members. As I mentioned, we're, we're breaking now 14,000 people that are paid members inside of this club. And I love this story. This is one of our members. He was, um, I would say he wasn't a newbie, but he was very inconsistent and did not have that much confidence. He joined the club, started going through the courses, started going through all these reports and the game plans. He entered his very first inshore fishing tournament, and look what happened. He actually won money. The dude actually literally not just like did okay, he actually won money and placed in his very first tournament. Isn't that yeah. awesome? Yeah, it was over $1,000. He, he yeah, got the like tickets for the tournament and, and won, won the whole thing. It was Isn't that uh, awesome. You guys want that? I mean, how cool would that be? Not, not, not to say you're doing this to go win money in a tournament, but even have that confidence that you know you can go out there and get tight lines every time you hit the water. So once again, here's what you're going to get: the 9010 Smart Fishing Spot System, the What's Working Now tips, the Spot Dissection Video Library, the 20% discounts on all tackle. Total value: one thousand five hundred ninety-four dollars. But we ain't going to leave you hanging. We're going to give you everything you possibly need to succeed. So this was a course that we want to give you completely for free as a bonus if you act today. It's called the Finding Spots Master. This is where we get on online maps. It's the whole course is about how to read these online maps and find the hidden honey holes that most people miss. Remember that quote I gave you earlier that most people are driving right by the best spots. This entire course 
is about that, taking both on the water and off the water so you can go out there and maximize your time. We call this like just complete ninja stuff. No one is teaching the stuff that is in this course. It is incredibly valued. You used to sell this for $297. Now you can't even buy it. It is only for our members. Yeah. Bonus- every, yeah, every, every inch, that's hard to interrupt, but every inch or angler needs to go through this. Yeah. And even, even, the, even the guides start with this and they're like, wow, I did not know this about these maps. Yeah, and this is this is this is continually updating as we learn more and more. The technology is changing so quickly, and, and we we update these as soon as we find anything new. But yeah, this is the latest and greatest on using the maps, knowing the pros and cons of each mapping platform, so that you can just find the the honey holes as quickly and efficiently as possible. Yep, and as we've been saying. All these are interactive. You know, I mean, this is not like you get a DVD in the mail. These are interactive. So you ask questions and we actually get back to you. I mean, how cool is that? It's like having a fishing guide in your back pocket. I mentioned earlier, one of the absolute worst things that can happen is you find that 10% zone, 90% of the fish, and you blow it out because you spooked it and you came in completely wrong based on the wind and the current. Well, this course solves that for you. This is another thing we sold for 135. You now can't even buy it. It's for members only. This is what you go through next. And then bonus number three, these are all free. We're giving these these today completely for free is inshore fishing mastery. That takes kind of everything. And we cover live bait fishing. We cover lure fishing. We cover kayak fishing and fishing from boat during all four seasons. This thing to me is one of the most valuable pieces. We got guys like Captain Peter Deeks, who's got seven or eight world records showing all his live bait stuff. I absolutely love this course. And you'll be blown. If you just go through those things alone, you will be like, this is the best investment I have ever made in myself. But we ain't getting in there, are we, Luke? We're going to throw in all the mini fishing courses. So you might, if you're from Tampa, you probably know this guy. This is uh, Captain Mike Goodwine, a.k.a. Blackneck. So we go out with full-time fishing captains and we film them for a day. Obviously, with their permission, we paid them a lot of money to do this. And they give all of their best tips and tactics. And we put it all into these little mini courses for you. Usually, these are quicker than the those other courses I showed you take two to three hours. These will be anywhere from 45 to you know 60 minutes, sometimes even a little bit less. And it's something you can go through a whole lot quicker that has so many things that you can go implement right away. This is one of the favorite things of most of our members because they're short and sweet. You can obviously stop them, go through whenever you want to. And we say it's $997 value, super conservative, knowing that we've paid like 30 grand to these guides for all the intel that is in there. I believe there's like 14 or 15 of these different mini courses now. And those are growing as well. We're, yes. we're adding a lot, new, a lot more to the mix and yeah, just a wealth of knowledge and it's all organized and categorized. So when Triple Tail are coming in, you just go check out the Triple Tail course, yep. make sure that you have everything dialed in and go out and catch some great fish. Same for Cobia. Same for just all the different, all the different nuances. We have something for everything. Yep. And as Luke said, we're constantly adding. And once you're a member, you get all this stuff right there into your account for free. I mean, once you're a member, you're, you're in, you're not having to pay for all any of the other stuff. Bonus number five is the online community. This is really to me like the main power source, because if you talk to any of these full-time guides, especially the tournament guys, they all say this one sentence you're only as good as your network. You're only as good as your network. Meaning these guys that are go fishing in, in, in new areas, they're calling up their network. They're going out to places where they know they have trusted sources to find out what's biting. It's the ultimate shortcut, right? I mean, just like you saw in this video, like if Luke had fished an area the week before, that guy, John said, hey, I'm going fishing. I've been fishing in a few months. It's basically a new area to me. And then boom, he had one of the best days ever with he and his wife. The power of that network is priceless. And we've built an entire community. It's not on Facebook. It's all built from scratch. It's custom. And so it looks and feels like Facebook, meaning it's easy to use. You can put pictures, videos, all that stuff in there. You can find people and friend people. But it's all organized by region, even by species and by date. So you can actually find exactly what you need super, super quick. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's like Facebook on steroids. It's a Facebook group, but, but also all the posts are geographic. Like all those pins on the map, those are all from posts that were in the community platform. Yep. A wealth of knowledge in there. And there's just more posts coming up really every like 15, 20 minutes now. Yep. Isn't that cool, guys? All right. So here's what you're going to get. This is with the bonus updates. The smart fishing spot system and the interactive training, the what's working now tips and reviews, the spot dissection video library, 20% off all your fishing tackle. Bonus number one is that finding spots mastery course, 297 value. 
the positioning and approach course, $135 value, inshore fishing mastery course, $297 value, that entire library of the mini courses, $997 value, and that private online community, $239 value, total value, $3,559. Now I gotta ask you a question. If all this did was help you catch one or two more fish per trip, would it be worth it? And if all this did was just help you save 60 minutes per trip, not having to waste your time bouncing around from one productive spot to another, would it be worth it? And if it helped you outfish all of your friends and be the influencer in your area, would it be worth it? Right? Like how much would this stuff be worth to you, Luke, back, when, back in the day? I mean, how, how, how much does it cost if you do the math just to hire a full-time guide once per week? That's not once per day like we're doing. You get access to us every day, but just hiring a guide once per week for a year is 9,600 bucks. I mean, how much would you have paid for all this stuff back in the day when you were? Yeah, I mean, no telling how much gas I wasted just going to total wrong spots. I mean, it was, it was well more than that, I'm sure. As far as the and tackle I got that was totally wrong for what I needed. Um, just, just all the misinformation out there led me to make a lot of really bad choices, um, both financial and time. <laughs> and so, yeah, th again, this is just something that I would have done anything to have uh, because it would have, it would have shaved years. I'm talking 10 plus years of time learning everything the hard way. Yep. And so how much is it worth you to see new spots and new trends? Like we've been showing every single week, how much is it worth you to have an understanding of how to identify new spots based on trends, just like the pros do. And how much is it worth you to know the latest trends for finding the feeding zones fast? I'm telling you, this is just like having a fishing guide in your back pocket. Now, if you're still here, you're probably wondering, I, I'm in, this sounds awesome. What's the cost? This has to cost a fortune, right? If you guys have spent now a million dollars and have all these coaches and all this stuff, it, it's got to cost a fortune. Well, you can probably see why it's a good deal at $3,559, right? I mean, all of that stuff. If this, once again, just shaves a little bit of time, let alone years of trial and error off your time, it's worth many, many thousands of dollars. But because you are special, because you've made it this far, and I know we went a little bit longer than we thought, we are going to give everything, everything you've seen, including all new little mini courses, all the new stuff that we're adding, just for one payment of $97, which covers you for an entire year. Plus, Luke and I were raised by hardworking parents that taught us that we don't deserve to keep your money unless we serve you well. And you are absolutely 100% thrilled with our service, that, that we want you coming away saying, Joe and Luke, this is the best fishing investment I have ever made in myself. And I want to join again for year two and three and four, like most of our members do. And so if that's not the case, if you aren't 100% thrilled at any time in the first year, you can get all of your money back no questions asked. All you have to do is click the button below to make that happen. And if you're doing the math and you want to justify this for like a spouse, like I have to do many times with my wife, is this comes down to just 27 cents per day, 97 bucks a year, because this is something that's working for you all year long. That's just 27 cents per day. That's a whole lot cheaper than my wife's expensive $4 mocha frappuccino, whatever she's drinking there, chai tea at, uh, at Starbucks, right? I mean, this is incredibly cheaper. It's a whole lot less expensive than a cup of coffee per day when you look at it that way. So let me reiterate one more time, everything you're going to get today when you join us in our club, the 9010 Smart Fishing Spot System and Interactive Training, the What's Working Now Fishing Tips and Reviews, the Fishing Spot Dissection Video Library, 20% discounts on all the top fishing tackle, Bonus number one is that Finding Spots Mastery course, the Positioning and Approach course, the Inshore Fishing Mastery course, the Mini Fishing course library. I can't believe we're giving all this stuff away. The private online community, that's a total value of $3,559. Once again, you get all of this today for just $97. It covers you for the entire year. All you have to do is click the button now to start and sign up and get instant access today. All right. If you're still here, you got two choices. Option number one is do nothing and not take this small leap of faith, which is 100% risk-free and keep going back to what you're always doing, which is being inconsistent. Or number two 
is pony up this really small investment compared to all the value you get in return and all the money that we spent on tackle and our boats and kayaks and all this stuff and just give it a shot. You have absolutely nothing to lose. I mean, if it works great, right? Awesome. You, you, just, you just saved a ton of time and money. And if not, then you ask for your money back and you will get it usually within 24 hours. We are that prompt. So once again, 365 day guarantee and we do not care if it's 364 and 23 hours and 59 minutes, you either email us or you call us and talk to a real live American, not someone in Pakistan. You talk to a real live American and we will quickly refund your money. We will help you out anyway. We are here to serve you. Luke and I spend a lot of money on customer service. We have three full-time customer service people. We have a full-time person that just manages that community to help you answer questions at any time that you have anything. Like we are here to support you. Like this is not one of these things when you, when you sign up today, you don't see us again. You're going to see a lot of us. And you're going to see a lot of our entire team and all of our fishing coaches all here to help you catch more fish, save time and save money. So the real question is, is it worth investing just $97 to get guaranteed results? If it does even half of what we claim to do in this webinar, it will pay for itself in the first month, if not the very first week you go out fishing. Let me tell you the tale of two anglers. This dude here on the left, can you guess what he's catching? The dude doesn't catch much. He's always frustrated. He's the guy that gets on webinars like this and, and maybe reads a fishing magazine or two. And, and then all of a sudden he's like, ah, he puts it back down and goes back to what he's always done. And guy number two, on the other hand, is, is Tony. He's actually one of our very first members and now gets paid to fish. He actually was a guy who never caught a saltwater insurer fish in his life. He was an ex-bass fisherman, joined our community because he took that small leap of faith that was risk-free and all of a sudden saw amazing results, starting catching inshore slams faster than ever before. And now today, fast forward, the dude gets paid to fish. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, and so again, a, with, the, with the guarantee, I mean, you literally have nothing to lose. Yeah, guys, if, if full 365 days, we would go longer, but our, our merchant won't let us. That's the longest we can go. It's just, it's just a testament to how much we, we know and believe you're going to absolutely love it. And so it's worth it. You basically get a, a lifetime of fish catching by joining and you can pass it down to, to your kids, to their, to their kids. Um, and again, and, and if somehow you don't think it's the best fishing investment you've ever had, let us know. And we'll give you a full refund. Yep. And all you have to do is click the little button and make sure to put in your right shipping address. We're actually going to send you a little gift to some waterproof decals, et cetera. You put that in and then you hit the submit and then boom, you're going to have an instant email from us. Normally within seven, 10 minutes, sometimes it takes a little bit longer if we're crazy busy because a lot of people are probably signing up right now. And then all of a sudden, boom, you're in, you have access to all of this stuff. Let me reiterate one more time what you're about to get today. The 9010 smart fishing spot system and interactive training the What's Working Now Fishing Tips and Reviews, the Fishing Spot Dissection Video Library, 20% discount on all the fishing tackle. I mean, big brands like Dio and Shimano Pen, I mean, all these big brands we have in store. Sometimes we're out of certain things, but know that we are always working to have inventory available for you. All the bonuses, including the Finding Spots Mastery Course, the Positioning and Approach Course, the Inshore Fishing Mastery Course, the many fishing courts, that entire library, plus all new courses that we put together in that little library, the private online community, total value $3,559. Click down below right now. All right, if you're still hearing me, that means you didn't sign up immediately. Luke, I can only imagine it's one of three reasons. Reason number one, I'm worried this won't work in my area. It's something we hear a lot. It's, it's natural, I, I get it. And all I can tell you is this, we did start in Florida, as you probably saw from that map. And then we click quickly started moving off to really started going on the Gulf side of Texas. And we started seeing amazing results from the anglers in Texas and everywhere in between. And that was even the, the kind of the aha moment for us, Luke. We're like, all right, this, this stuff really, really works. Because the guys and gals in Texas were using the same game plan. They were using the exact same trends and the exact same tools and shortcuts to go catch the same redfish and the same speckled trout. As Luke mentioned, these fish aren't as smart as we give them credit for. They're very reactionary. They all have the same biology. They all react the same way. And once you understand that, the same reason Luke and I have flown over there, right? We've flown over and fished multiple states. We use the exact same tactics, the exact same pre-trip planning uh, plan, and the exact same tools to go out there and consistently catch fish in other areas. So this will work in your area. We have proven, I, now I can't say it's going to work in California because we haven't proven that, but we have proven this 
beyond a shadow of a doubt with thousands of members, tens of thousands of members now from Texas all the way up to Virginia. Anywhere there are saltwater inshore fish, this will work. It's even yeah. worked in other places, but that's the area I can tell you for sure without a doubt, this will work in that area. Yeah, I mean, if you're fishing in an area that has redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder, it's going to work. Those fish all behave the same way, and, and we cover, again, we cover their weekly, their weekly movements and their weekly preferences so that you can be dialed in on every single trip. Yep. Reason number two, I don't have a boat. I'm a kayak or shore angler. That's great. Remember that Tony guy I showed you earlier that now works for us? He's never owned a boat in his life. He is a kayak guy. A big chunk of our members do fish out of a kayak, and another big chunk actually are, are shore anglers, either wade fishermen or fishing from piers, beaches, etc. We have tips in the shortcuts that cover all that. And of course, these same rules apply to everything, right? The, the advantage of a boat is obviously you can cover more territory and get out a little bit deeper quicker, but you use these exact same tactics that you're going to be able to see when you join us today to go catch fish anywhere. Even if you're on vacation, like we do a lot of videos, sometimes we're on vacation, show you, hey, here's how we found a spot, right? Right where you can walk to, right there, uh, you know, near a parking lot or a bridge, you'll be blown away at how many spots you're going to find that you've probably driven by a million times when you join us in the club. And then reason number three is I don't have enough time. Well, guys, that's the whole meaning of this, this club is to save you time. In, in the absolute worst case, if you don't have 10 minutes a week, then something's wrong with it. You might want to like really check yourself into an institute because you're doing too much. 10 minutes a week is like the bare minimum, and that's Luke's game plan. Every single Friday, he does that 10-minute game plan showing you where to fish. That's like the worst case scenario. Now, I know some of you love getting into this stuff and will spend four hours a day on there if you want to like get everything, but the absolute worst case is 10 minutes. If you do 10 minutes and take advantage of 20% discounts and save money on tackle, you are going to save a ton of time. If you take it a step further, like most of our members, then even better. But the, just know that we're busy people too. The, the whole reason we created this is because we're all busy and we want to save you time. We want to get you in that 90-10 zone. We want to get in the 10 zone where the 90% of fish are faster than you ever imagined. Absolutely right. Yeah. And as Joe said, a lot of people do just sign up just so they can get that, that 10 minute breakdown. It's like the cliff notes of fishing. So every Friday in just 10 minutes, you're going to know the macro level view on exactly what the fish are doing so that you can get out there on your valuable time on the water and just make sure you maximize it. You're going to maximize your time in the feeding zones and minimize your time in those pesky dead zones. Yep. All right, guys. Last time here, here's what you're getting today. The 9010 Smart Fishing Spot System and Interactive Training, the What's Working Now Fishing Tips and Reviews, the Spot Dissection Video Library, the 20% off all of your fishing tackle, all the bonuses, the Finding Spots Mastery, Positioning and Approach Course, Inshore Fishing Mastery Course, the Mini Fishing Course Library, and the Private Online Community. Total value, $3,559. Now, I want to tell you one more thing about some dollars here. So there was a recent, uh, I think it was from a, a American Sport Fishing Association came out and they looked at how much the average angler is spending just on tackle. This does not include your boats, kayaks, power poles. This is just true tackle, rods, reels, line, all the stuff that we're constantly spending money on. The average angler, you might be nodding your head saying, ah, that's me or, or even higher, spends around $1,600 per year just on our tackle, on all of our gear. And that, that can include clothes and stuff. But I mean, just over all of our tackles, $1,600. So knowing that we have 20% off on all the tackle side, I mean, you're going to save tons, hunt, should be hundreds of dollars a year if you're like the average person just on the discounts. Well, 320 bucks, Luke's holding it up. Yeah, I just did the math. Yeah, 20% of $1,600 is $320. Again, we had, a, we, had a, we had a good friend. Uh, I won't mention his name to embarrass him, but someone that we've grown up with, super busy, running a really successful company, you know, has a six-figure boat. So the 97 bucks, I mean, it was kind of a joke to him in the big scheme of things, but his big issue was time. And we finally told him about the 10-minute 10, 10, uh, 10 videos, like, all right, I get it. And then when we came out with the discounts, he signed up immediately, and he put an order in for like $900 worth of tackle that he was already about to go buy anyways and saved 20% off on that. So it paid for his membership 
basically twofold, maybe three, yeah, twofold right then and there before anything else had ever happened. And so that's what a lot of people do. They come in the discounts and they, they actually see the community and how helpful people are and start meeting friends. And we have people doing meetups and stuff in, in all kinds. We had one recently in, uh, in North Carolina. We had one in Virginia where anglers in, inside of our club are actually going to meeting up and doing, you know, doing little, little fishing trips and meet up and having beers later. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah, uh, it's just on numbers alone, I'm just a, in my opinion, this is a, a easy decision. Uh, if, if you fish a decent amount, right, the average person is spending, you know, $1,600 on tackle. This is the break even point. If you didn't care about any of the tip, if you didn't believe any of our tactics worked at all, if you were just going to be just buying any sort of gear, if you buy uh, $485 worth of, worth of tackle, again, that includes rods and reels, line, lures. We have it all in our line tackle store, and it's only the best of the best. It's only the stuff that we know work, that we teach, yep. and that we show you exactly how to use. If you only spend $485 on tackle for the whole year, you're, you're going to break even on your investment. So that assumes you hate all of our tactics, you hate our faces, and you don't want to see us ever again. Yeah, you don't have to. You can just do that. And so that's just the power of this discount program. And, and once you get into the, into the, the details on, on the platform and the courses, and then in the community, most of all, I think you're going to absolutely be blown away. Most members are a lot of people who join are just like, Hey, like, why are you only charging $97? Yeah. And the reason is because we just want, we want you in it. We know how much of an impact it can make on your life and even your, your kids and grandkids. And, uh, and we just want to pass it forward. Yeah, and that, that is our big mission is we want to unite friends and families, you know, through fishing and we want to be able to, to let as many people come in as possible at a, at a really fair price. And 97 is where we've settled, even though we know we could charge a whole lot more for it. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for your time. I cannot wait to see you inside of the club. All you have to do is click the button down below, $97, that is it. And it comes with an unheard of 365 day, 100% money back guarantee. Now, if you have any questions at all, shoot us an email, support at saltstrom.com. That'll end up coming to us. And uh, of course we do have customer service people. I mean, we have real people here in America. They're actually all here in, in Florida and a couple in, uh, one in North Carolina, but for the most part, we're all here in the, in the South. We would love to help you out. We are here to serve you. We are here to help you become not just a better angler, but you know, just to help you save tons of time and tons of money. And we're constantly, I mean, we wake up every day saying, how can we serve our members better? All right, so here's what to do next. Click the button down below and it's going to take you to the registration form and just fill that out. Make sure to put your address because we're going to send you a special gift for joining. And then once you register, our system is going to kick you out a welcome email. And in that email, there's no sort of high tech gadgetry. There's a, a auto login link. You just literally just click that link and it's going to log you into the, pro the platform and then it'll, it'll show you exactly what to do next. You can customize your password. Obviously, this is an online access. You're going to have to use a password in there. And so if you don't see the, the welcome email in your inbox within like 30 seconds to a minute, check your spam folder. Sometimes those emails go down in the spam folder. It should be there. And if somehow it isn't, just reach out to us. You can just send an email to uh, support at saltstrong.com or you can send me directly, luke at saltstrong.com. I'll be happy to help. But, uh, but it's just a, it's a smooth process. We have 80 plus year olds going through there and uh, there's really no sort of high tech gadgetry. You can access it all from your main computer, from your laptop, from your mobile device, anything that can access the internet, you can get through the entire program with. So again, highly recommend giving a shot. Click down below and see you there. Yeah, click down below. Can't wait to see you inside the community. Make sure when you get in to update your picture, you know, introduce yourself to the community. We want to see your face and welcome you regardless of where you are in your fishing journey. So click down below right now and we'll see you inside.